You did it. You passed your SHRM certification exam. After all the celebrating, some of you might be surprised to hear that earning your certification isn't the end of your journey. At this point, you may be asking, do I have to take that exam again? The short answer is probably not. To keep your SHRM certification, you have two options. Hi, I'm Christina Danforth with HR Jetpack, a SHRM education partner helping hundreds of HR pros like you pass their SHRM certification exam. In this video, I'll help you understand how to keep your hard-earned SHRM certification. And be sure to stay with me until the end of this video when I discuss where to go to submit your recertification application. Like many professional certifications, you need to take action to keep it. There are two options. The first option isn't very popular. Option one is to retake the exam. Now, granted, this is a viable option, but most credential holders choose option number two. To earn 60 professional development credits, usually referred to as PDCs, over a three-year period following their exam pass date. Some professional certifications refer to these as continuing education credits, and ultimately, that's the intention, to promote continuous learning. You earn these credits by completing professional development qualifying activities, which must be related to elements of the SHRM body of applied skills and knowledge, usually referred to simply as the SHRM BASC. A qualifying activity must fall within one of three separate categories as they are aligned with the SHRM BASC. Advance your education, advance your organization, and advance your profession. There are guidelines associated to each one. For advance your education, you can earn PDCs by attending an online webcast or completing a live college course or a self-paced program. For every one hour of an activity, you'll earn one PDC. There is no limit to the number of hours you can earn by advancing your education. A good example of this is my company, HR Jetpack. We are not only a top SHRM education partner, we are also a pre-approved recertification credit provider. We provide all 60 PDCs to our subscribers through both live HR community events and self-paced courses. After you complete a course or attend an online event, you'll be given a pre-approved activity ID. All your activity IDs are stored in your HR Jetpack account. You'll need this ID when you submit your recertification application to show you've completed a professional development activity. More on how to submit your application in a moment. For advanced your organization, you can only earn up to 30 PDCs. If you're advancing your organization, you'll be taking on some type of work-related project. The project must be endorsed by your supervisor and support organizational goals and demonstrate or advance your capabilities and one or more of the HR competencies. And finally, for advance your profession, you can earn up to 30 PDCs. Think leadership and volunteer activities. Anything that may contribute to the development of the HR profession, like being a member of a local SHRM chapter, serving on the board of that chapter, or even publishing a white paper for research purposes. Each of these activities will vary in the number of PDCs you can earn for them. The great part is you have three years to earn these credits. Your first recertification cycle starts on the day you pass your exam. It ends three years later on the last day of your birth month. The actual process of submitting your recertification application is pretty straightforward. I recommend as you are completing those qualifying activities, you enter them into your personal SHRM online portal. This is the same portal you used when you submitted your exam application. This is the same portal you'll use to submit your recertification application. As you complete an activity, you'll log into your SHRM online portal account, select Add PDCs, and select Yes or No if you have an activity ID. 
If you have an activity ID, select yes and enter the ID. If you don't have an ID, select no and select which category the activity falls under. Advance your education, advance your organization, or advance your profession. Then follow the prompts to enter the information for the activity. Your portal account will automatically add up the PDCs you've earned under each category and give you a total. Let's look at an example. You can earn all 60 PDCs by advancing your education. If you decide to work with a pre-approved credit provider like HR Jetpack, you'll be given an activity ID for the course you complete. This means when you log into your personal SHRM portal account, you'll select add PDCs. And when asked if you have an activity ID, you'll select yes and enter the HR Jetpack activity ID. The system will automatically pull up the course information. You enter the date which you completed the activity and you'll select the submit button. Remember, a word of caution. The three year renewal timeframe goes by fast. I recommend earning up to two credits per month. Not only does breaking 60 credits down month by month keep it simple, but it also helps you to keep your continuous learning goal consistent. As HR pros, we must be attending workshops, taking on new initiatives, and connecting with our fellow HR colleagues on a regular basis. Earning PDCs is a great excuse to do what we should be doing anyway, professional development. Like earning your SHRM certification, keeping your SHRM CP or SHRM SCP is also a journey in of itself, and it doesn't have to be a costly one. There are many resources out there and opportunities available to acquire those recertification credits and build those competencies necessary to be successful in your HR career. Thank you.